Dear students, in this video, we will learn about mean terms and max terms in Boolean algebra. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for future upload notification. First of all, let us assume that we have two variables. Let we have, have two variables x and y. These are the two variables we have assumed here. So what is the mean term and what is the max term? First of all, I will explain that. If we find the n operation between x and y, that will make the mean term. So if we find the n operation, that is multiplication. So here we can have x can have x as well as x complement. Using these two variables, we can have, so first term suppose x bar y bar, okay. Next we have x bar y. Next we have x y bar. And next we have another term that is x, y. So these four are the product terms. That means first of all, I have multiplied x complement with y complement. Then another term is x bar y, that is x complement into y. The third term is x, y bar and fourth term is x, y. So these are the product terms or these inputs are related with an operation. So we can write each of these n terms this each of these n terms is called a mean term that means when we have a n operation okay between the input variables that is called as a mean term or we can say that a standard product so that means each of these terms are called as mean term or a standard product so first of all you have understood what is a mean term so if we have two input variables x and y then x bar y bar x bar y x y bar and x y these are the mean terms okay or a standard product now let us see what is a max term so if the input variables are related such as x bar plus y bar suppose another term is x bar plus y then x plus y bar and we have x plus y these are the four different terms case one so in case one we have seen that we have got mean terms or the standard product here we can see the input variables are related through or gate so here in this case each of these or terms is called a max term when the input variables are related through the or operation then it is called as a max term or we can say that this is a or a standard sum now we have seen what is the mean term and max term now for simplicity i will make a table here mean terms and max terms for two binary variables so here i will show the mean terms and max terms for two binary variables you can consider three also no problem mean terms here i will write the mean terms next here we'll have max terms so here we'll write the terms and here we'll write the designation so how we represent that is the designation okay here also we'll have terms and designation input variables are x and y so we can have four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 these are the four input combinations now let us find out what are the terms so 0 0 means both are complemented so here we will have x bar y bar so here we have x complement and y normal term so x bar y here we have x y bar and here we have x y so these are the mean terms so these mean terms are designated with small m so first mean term will be small m suffix 0 second one is m1 third one is m2 and fourth one is m3 now we'll write down the max terms max terms are the terms with the or operation that is 0 0 so here we'll have x bar plus y bar so here we have x bar plus y here we'll have x plus y bar and x plus y so these are the four max terms and they are designated with capital m capital m0 m1 m2 m3 so these are the designation and terms 
okay so this table we have seen the input variables we have considered two input variables we have seen the mean terms these are the terms and here we have designated with small m okay and suffix with the number similarly here we have the max terms these are the terms and here we have the designation so each of these max terms and each of these mean terms are called as the standard terms or standard forms here we can say that these are the standard products and here we can say that these are the standard sums okay 